Yo, this is your favorite friendly neighborhood, Toronto, and today we're going to be talking about the unsurprising news that is Halo Infinite being delayed to 2021. So on Twitter, on the Halo account, they actually stated, Today I want to share an important Halo Infinite development update with the community. We've made the difficult decision to shift our release to 2021 to ensure the team has adequate time to deliver a Halo game experience that meets our vision. Now, honestly, this is the best news I've heard for Halo and um, Xbox as a whole because to me, the gameplay reveal that was at the Xbox Game Showcase in July 2020 was, to honestly put it, not the prettiest thing. And what people have to understand is that Halo was a game that was always pushing graphical fidelity on the Xbox game system, as well as games like Gears and Forza, which every time somebody saw it, they were expecting that system to show a new level of graphical fidelity. Even when they showed you the trailers, everybody saw something that looked amazing and it wasn't all in game. If they did that, then everybody's expectations would have been more at, at a proper level. So releasing that at launch with the Xbox Series X in the state that it was in, honestly, to me, would have did more harm than good because everybody would have knocked it. And if it wasn't up to everybody's standard, it's going to do a lot of damaging to the brand of Halo and also Xbox. And this was honestly the best move just to move it to 2021. I'm sure they're going to have the ray tracing and all those different features and the graphical fidelity up to par by that time and when that game does come out it will make the rounds and be something great as it should be because again halo is a staple not just for xbox but the gaming industry as a whole so seeing that go um anything lower th than that is just to me personally not a great look especially for game pass because then everybody's going to be like oh well this is what we're going to expect with game pass games coming out being at a low quality and people thinking that developers think it's okay to do that because you're not really paying anything extra than the $15 per month for their service, right? So again, this is just the best decision that they could have made. It does suck that the game wasn't going to be ready for launch. It's a little surprising to me, even when I heard things like ray tracing might not be available when the game launches, but they knew ray tracing was going to be a feature all the way back to 2016 or something of the sort, especially that Halo was in development for years somehow i just felt like the cohesion between different co departments it just wasn't there or something was wrong with the management but honestly let's just hope that in 2021 when we get halo it's going to be something amazing and something that we all deserve i'm going to be playing that day one when it launches so i hope that p not too many people are going to be very upset with this news just understanding that this had to happen and the good thing is when you're looking at the post that uh the halo twitter account put up you will see that they also talk about the health of the workers so it seemed like trying to get it out at launch to try to get up to uh par standards would have been very detrimental and very crunch consuming for all the developers there so it's good that they're taking that into consideration when it comes to making this delay so guys let me know what you think about this delay are you with it are you against it um tell me why you're with it or against it down in the comments below and again thank you guys for it, making it through to the end of this video please share like and subscribe to the channel become a torontonian every like does help more than you know and i have all the details on where you can follow everything toronto in the description that's everything for now so it's not bye but i see you later on the next one and i'm out